The mighty Thor has returned in Thor Ragnarok, and he's brought a few friends with him. But for as fun as this third Asgardian film is, there are still plenty of questions that left us puzzled. Of course, many of these issues may be resolved in future movies, but for now, here are our five biggest WTF questions about Thor Ragnarok. Beware of spoilers. Look, Thor's Asgardian buddies have never gotten the most extensive treatment, in part because Thor had to split time between them and his Earth pals. But now that Jane Foster and the rest were jettisoned for Ragnarok, you'd think at least the Lady Sif would have gotten a bigger part. But nope. In fact, Jamie Alexander's Sif isn't even in Thor Ragnarok. There could be a few reasons for that. The actress herself recently told Yahoo that there was a schedule conflict between shooting the film and her TV show Blindspot. Meanwhile, Marvel's Kevin Feige has hinted that perhaps Loki banished Sif between movies in order to secure his power on the throne as he posed as Odin. But perhaps the most basic reason for Sif's exclusion in the film is simply that the new warrior goddess character Valkyrie was just too similar to Thor's old girlfriend. Thor's other friends, Fandral, Hogan, and Volstagg, fared even worse than Sif. The trio known as the Warriors Three, who have long been mainstays in the Thor comics, and who fought by the Odin Sun's side in the previous two movies, are very quickly killed off by Kate Blanchett's villain Hela early in Ragnarok. And it seems as though these so-called immortal gods are intended to stay dead. Kevin Feige explained during a press conference for the film that their deaths were designed to, quote, mainly to serve the arrival of Hela, the arrival of the biggest villain into the MCU. Basically, the filmmakers wanted to set up how powerful Hela was, and the Warriors 3 paid the price. For what it's worth, Feige did add that they had noble ends, and that the three will be remembered. Okay. <laughs> if you stuck around for the film's closing credits easter eggs, you might be wondering who that gigantic spaceship belongs to. Yep, according to Ragnarok director Taika Waititi, that's actually Thanos' ship. Which totally makes sense because Avengers Infinity War is coming in April, and will finally pit the mega-villain against Earth's mightiest heroes. Will Thanos wipe out what's left of Asgardian civilization by destroying the vessel Thor and his people are on? Well, the Infinity War footage shown at Comic-Con and D23 revealed the Guardians of the Galaxy finding Thor floating amidst some kind of cosmic destruction. So it could be. But then again, it seems unlikely that Marvel would really wipe out all of Asgard. Speaking of which, near the end of the film, Thor makes the decision to sacrifice his home in order to defeat Hela. By letting the fire demon Surtur complete the MCU version of Ragnarok, the realm eternal turns out to be not so eternal after all. As with the death of the Warriors 3, this seems to be a pretty definitive end for Asgard. And it tracks with events from the comics too, where in the wake of Ragnarok, Thor rebuilt Asgard in… Oklahoma, of all places. Oh, but that Asgard eventually got destroyed too. But it's like Thor says in the movie, Asgard's not a place, it's a people. One of the first things Hela does when she shows up in Ragnarok is blow Thor's hammer to bits. See, as the daughter of Odin and the goddess of death, she has unbelievable powers. But that can't make Thor feel any better about not having old Mjolnir to throw around anymore. And while it's cool to see the god of thunder have to rely on other weapons for a change, like that very same thunder and lightning, for example, it does seem crazy that Thor won't have his hammer anymore. Certainly, Mjolnir has been destroyed and otherwise damaged in the comics on multiple occasions, only to return to its true form time and again. Of course, that doesn't mean the MCU version of the hammer will ever return, but considering that Thanos and his Infinity Gauntlet will likely have reality-altering properties once Infinity War gets underway, there's a good chance that the hammer could make its return. And hey, maybe Thor will even get his eye back too. What questions do you have after Thor Ragnarok? Let's discuss them in the comments, and be sure to also check out our Ragnarok Easter eggs, as well as Jeff Goldblum reading IGN comments about the film. And for all your MCU needs, don't forget to subscribe to your IGN platform of choice.